Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Mayhem character. So we're pretty much self-found. I haven't traded anything yet. Level 64, Act 9 progression. I want to go ahead and show you guys how it's currently clearing. Uh, so far with the Freeze Pulsar, I'm very, very happy uh, with his progress. I'm only using a 4 link right now. And I'm able to pretty much freeze majority of things uh, with our 4 link setup. The character also feels pretty tanky, which is good. Um, and of course, with options of like a vibe link and stuff, and even just getting a tabula rasa, the damage will go up like drastically. Everything has been pretty much a breeze up until now. I noticed my damage started to fall off in Act 8 um, with my 4 link, so I would definitely say like try to get a 5 link going before, uh, probably before Kataba, like fight Kataba in a 5 link. Uh, obviously, if you have to use a 4 link, you totally can. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Yeah, we're sitting at currently like, what, 3.6k, 3.7k effective life with Mind Over Matter. And we also have Fortify. Now, I do not even have my second Labyrinth point yet. So we just have normal Labyrinth Ascendancy as of right now. And I don't know, do I? I don't have any uniques on me either. Give me some crumbs. Oh, I didn't even realize I just leveled. I don't believe I have a remove shock. No, I don't have a remove shock. So this is a little sketchy. It's also not a very good map for uh, opening a breach. Alright, nice. So now to talk about the character a little bit. So, uh, with the passive tree, I'm just going to show you guys where I decided to go. I started off elemental damage, went for retribution, picked up my life. Actually, before I picked up life, I grabbed mind over matter. Then I grabbed quick recovery, picked up discipline and training. Uh, remember, whenever it's time to grab your jewels for first snow, you have jewel number one here and jewel number two here. So I went through, uh, went for Occultist Dominion, picked up Annihilation, grabbed Deep Wisdom, and then I think after that, I pretty much just went through here, went for Nimbleness. I'll probably respect this later. Uh, came through Shadow, picked up everything from Shadow here. Uh, I just recently specced in here, and I have this currently. I might respect this. Uh, I just have this currently because Elemental Resistance is very strong early game, especially when you're doing things like Mayhem, where there's invasion bosses and exiles all over the place. So this gives me 5%, uh, or sorry, this is 12 all res, and then with nullification, that's an additional, uh, was it 8 all res? So yeah, that's really good. That's 20% right there. In terms of our gear, that's pretty standard. I have a 4 link currently with Spell Echo, Controlled Destruction, Freezing Pulse, and Added Cold. Um, actually, I shouldn't have been using Added Cold there. I use Ice Bite support when I'm uh, just like clearing, and then for bosses, I swap in the Added Cold. Uh, I think it'll, it's much better for clear speed and just in general frenzy charges is more cast speed and The faster you cast the better the build actually feels especially when you're low level and you don't really have much crit rate Like our crit rate is poopy. It's 14% So having faster cast speed increases the likelihood of you rolling a crit within you know X amount of seconds 
Um, so some other important things is I decided to run a cast one damage taken Warlord's Mark. Personally, I have always hated Warlord's Mark, and that's probably because I never played Leech characters. But Warlord's Mark, I actually don't even really use it for the Life Leech right now. It's for the Life Leech and the Mono Leech, because I don't have any form of sustain for Mono Leech. I could use Rally and Cry, but I don't want to. Uh, I will run Clarity here soon, but ideally, if I get enough damage scaling, my uh, my Warlord's Mark will be able to sustain me on like bosses. I'm just running Herald of Ice, Lightning Golem, Herald of Thunder, uh, increased crit, added lightning, and uh, here's my current gear. I pretty much just picked up a Woe Essence. Where was it? There we go. A Weeping Essence of Woe. I think I had the higher tier, and I just slammed it on Abyssal Scepter. You would want a dagger or a scepter base or anything around there that's melee because that gives you access to shield charge. The reason why you want a shield charge is because when you're playing an Inquisitor, whenever you, you, you get Instruments of Virtue, which I'd highly recommend as your first point, whenever you use an attack, so a mobility skill like Leap Slam, Shield Charge, Whirling Blades, you will get a 30% cast speed boost. In relation of how strong that is, a level 14 faster casting gives you 33 cast speed. The, this point right here gives you 4% cast speed. So Instruments of Virtue is stronger than a level 14 faster casting, despite the fact that it gives you spell damage as well. Um, and also by casting a spell, or actually does it give you attack speed based on attack? Yeah, it gives you attack speed based on your own shield charge anyway. So it's, it's a really good thing to get mobility early on in Inquisitor. And that has pretty much summarized the character. We also helped Alira. Um, I think I'll probably go for Volpact. I don't know if I'm going to do it when I'm mapping or before mapping. I think I'm going to redo this whole section here and pull out this whole... Like, when I'm ready to map, I'll pull out this whole section. And I think I'll respec to go down here, Volpact, and maybe even come down and grab Heartseeker. Because I am I feel like by using uh, Vol Grace with Acrobatics is going to be really good. And I can even get Combs Roots, even though I have, like... Evasion scaling. I don't have to use evasion. I can just use like enduring cry. Well, I'll ha actually I have endurance charges from Warlord's Mark But I think evasion not evasion. Sorry dodge plus vol grace and The spell dodge also helping reflect or sustain against my own reflect is like a really good idea Sorry, I'm stuttering so much. I've uh, I just got off a 24-hour stream took a break and then did a 10-hour one So my bad, but yeah, that's pretty much about it with the character um, it's been doing really well so far, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time uh, Something I did forget to cover in the previous video is just to emphasize again You really want to make sure you pick up first snows you do get first snow in act five after you kill innocence You're only gonna get access to one So you want to either get one from a friend or purchase the other one But it's important because it gives you one gives you LMP and the second one essentially gives you GMP so anyway Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.